the first Young Life Club, Jim Rayburn, the leader, he called it Club Number 37. And we all came to this thing called Young Life Club 37, thinking that he had 36 other clubs somewhere at least, <laughs> but it was really the first Young Life Club. And Jim just called it 37 because he didn't want us to know that this was the only one he had. <laughs> That's the way Young Life began. It began actually in a circus tent and hundreds of kids heard about this meeting that was going on right across the street from Fair Park in Dallas. And they came out and they heard Jim Rayburn talk about Jesus. We had never heard anyone take the scriptures and open them and just bring them alive where you saw the person and work of Jesus Christ. Many of us who were kids then, many of us came to faith in that circus tent listening to Jim take the scriptures, open the Word of God and proclaim Jesus like we had never heard before. And it all came about as Young Life was beginning its ministry with this remarkable leader way back in the early 1940s. Dozens and dozens of kids would come over to our house. We all sat in rows and and Jim usually wore a necktie. <laughs> he would take the scriptures and just walk through them. He'd, he'd hold the Bible up sometimes and just run his finger along the pages. And uh, he knew the scriptures so well. We realized right from the beginning, we realized this is not Jim Rayburn's stuff. The things he's telling us are things that are coming right from the heart of God. Jim started Young Life at our school in Dallas. It was a pretty rough school. It was the only school in Dallas that you could go to if you got kicked out of another school. <laughs> but he would just come and hang out around our football team, for instance, our practices, which was really kind of unusual because we weren't any good. <laughs> we, we had a, not a very good football team. And nobody ever came over to practice to watch us. <laughs> but Rayburn did. Hey, there's something special about this guy, that he would spend time to try to get to know us, learn our name. That's a very important thing for people to understand, how important it is that we get to know kids, building relationships with them and learning their names. Jim wanted to help us understand what a commitment to Christ was all about. So he, he started a little follow-up program that he called Campaigners. Campaigners was um, designed to help young people take their, really, their baby steps in the faith. What does it mean to pray? What does it mean to be a student of Scripture? What are the implications of our faith? 
I hope that Young Life will always be like that, that people who are leading in Young Life, that the kids will know these are not this leader's ideas. These are coming right from the heart of God. I pray that Young Life will always be biblical, will be oriented in Holy Scripture, and that the Jesus who is proclaimed will be the one that is spoken of in the Gospels. If Young Life will continue to be biblical in its basis, I have confidence that the Lord is going to use this mission in a wonderful and powerful way. I pray that Young Life will always, always be that, an outreach ministry to young people who need to know Christ. The primary reason for Young Life is to be an outreach for the gospel of Jesus, and that's what Jim did. My prayer for the mission of Young Life is that it will be made up of men and women who are leaders who just can't help but speak to young people out of their own intimacy, their own daily prayer, and their passion for Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now, Lord, we thank you for the past years of your blessing upon a mission that goes by the name of Young Life. We're so glad that it is not some human invention motivated by human enterprise, but rather, Lord, that this is a mission that has grown up in the presence of Jesus, made up of men and women of faith, men and women of prayer, men and women of intimacy with you in their own walk with Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you will continue to use the mission of Young Life to reach hard-to-reach kids, kids on the outside, kids who don't know about Jesus, that really don't know the beautiful claims of the gospel, that God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. We commit this wonderful mission called Young Life into your hands. Please continue to reach those kids in Jesus' name. Amen.